ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I am Shadow Frank. Today we are going to do chapter part three, part four of short story BHA, BHA All My Ex Meal Endeavor Brother Reader, short story part three. Here we go, the next part of this short story. Guys, we need to show them that we can do it, says Zuko. But we can't. We can't show them what that we can do it, said Jiro. We have to, we have to, we have to, said Zuko, trying to up them if they do better. We have to show these heroes that we can be heroes too and work with them, says Zuko, getting frustrated that he failed in front of All Might's boyfriend, knowing that he is actually All Might's husband. We have to show him that we are best spirit can be heroes, just like him, says Zuko getting up and going to Marinette's room. So, Marinette said, we want to try again with a test. Yes, sir, we will do it again. Fine. If anyone of you wants to do it again, stand up. If not... You might fail. All of you stay except for Manetta. Manetta, you fail. But I know you did something else last week when you went spying on the girls. What girl? Chica and Toy Chica caught you spy on them when they were changing in the bedrooms. It wasn't me, I swear! Shadow Frey saw you, remember? They go from the shadows. Okay, it was me. I have contacted UA High and said that you are not allowed to join the school anymore because of your, your perverted nature, as well as you're not willing to be a hero with, uh, with your failing this test and the next test before that. But sir, said Mon but, 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 but sir, said Monimo, I am the leader of a group of heroes. I am the husband of a pro hero. And I know Nazu from the very start of our friendship. He said he is will put you in, in the, in the here in the, in the business course, or something where general studies where the other student is. That is where I moved to your course. Wait, we're getting your student? Yes, I think the student, uh, the final student is Nezu Gaby. He'll be here soon, and me and him and I will be tra transferred out. Ha! Minetta, you finally get transferred out. Bakugo? Yes, sir. Be nice, but good one. Said Minetta. There was a knock at the door, and Minetta was shocked. Marinette opened the door and the purple haired boy came in. And as I walked in after, where is he? Said as I right there, said I using a stream to carry bring the purple haired kid the other purple minute to him. Take him to his new class in the morning, as I will. Yes, sir. Said as I will. Take him in out of the room. Shenzo? Me and your snooze classmates. You may sleep in my dorm room. If you want. Or you can sleep out here with the others. I'll sleep out here with the others, said Shenzo. Good, your test begins soon. So we're not leaving the room. Oh, and the door's locked, just when you got, as you know. You know. It was a lamp for Minette to get transferred out. Yes, finally, someone's not a pervert, said Mono. Man, I'm sorry, guys, you went through all that, said Shenzo, acting sad and upset for them. Well, she is sad for them, but he has to act like it, to not show his emotions to them. So that's why I was always said to him in the car. So, what's your name? Shenzo Hitoshi Yanzaiwa, said to his, uh, 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 Shenzo. Oh, that's cool. I'm Izuka Midoriya. I know who you guys are. I got told by Amazawa in the car, coming here. So, are you like Amazawa's son? Adopted son, yeah. 
So, um, we gotta wait for the test to begin. So, how about you get some sleep? Sure. Where do I sleep? Don't sleep on the pervert's bed. Here, I'll get you a new one. Said the voice coming from the shadows. Ah, hey, shallow body. Said Shenzo. Hello, Shenzo. Here's a new one. I'll take this and go burn it. Said Shep Shallow Body, taking in the sleeping bag Manila was in. Why do you have to burn it? We don't want pervert germs. Said Shallow Body, making sure Fred Shallow Fred is here. Oh, you mean so Shallow Fred doesn't sniff out Manila you know? Yeah, Shinzo, I know, I know. That's why we have to make sure that doesn't happen. Good. I'll get some sleep. You two, you as well. Good. You'll need it for the test tonight. At well, it's in the next hour. All right. See you, Shadow Body. See you, kid. That was nice of them. So it was you go out if I couldn't hear what they were say talking about. Do I have to really burn the sleeping bag? Yeah, Shadow Frey really hates per perverts. So they have to burn anything that a pervert touched. Oh, so that I thought it was like a joke. Nah, it's not a joke. Shadow Frey really hates perverts. After the purple guy incident, uh, Shadow Frey was very not pleased with people that are perverts or serial killers. So we had to hide anything and burn anything that a serial killer or pervert touched. Oh, that's bad. Yeah, it's his PTSD that really triggers him to do that. The perverts and serial killers. I mean, I never met someone with PTSD before. Marin, everyone here has PTSD. They just hide it from the, all the eyes and the he of heroes and uh, the eyes of civilians and kids like you. Really? Yeah, they do. Only family and friends and girl heroes they trust know about their PTSD. Even their lovers know about PTSD they have. They just hide it from the, the people's eyes. And their trigger points are very easy to find. Oh, I'm sorry for them. That's why Marinette tries to teach you guys how to stay, know which one is a trigger point for them. And try to stop it because the PTSD with them is like a killing spree for them. Oh, um, can you teach me how to stop their PTSD attacks? Sure, I'll show you around this place. I know everything that they need for calm them down from PTSD attacks. Sure, can I bring the others? No. You're all my successors, so I'll teach you everything you need to help with everything in this room. To help all my with everyone's PTSD. Alright, thanks. You're welcome. 